This is an uh, video essay conversion on an essay I wrote before about profanity. Tell me what you think. I'd appreciate it. Mac.thecast at gmail.com There's also the comment box down there and stuff. What's wrong with profanity? There is nothing. Fucking shit. This essay is about how profanity is a load of fucking bullshit. We could say God's balderdash humbug. These were once vulgar words, and if the wrong person heard, you would have been beheaded. Profanity as we see it today is a remnant of before the Christian religion was reformed and evolved. Over thousands of years, you can bet a lot of euphemisms have been invented to use the Lord's name in vain. Kind of. The United States radio and television program hosts can be fined a lot of money. How? Man Cow, who appears on Fox News every morning, has been fined over $42,000 for speaking profanity and playing a song called Smell My Finger. Howard Stern has been fined millions of dollars. Free speech isn't. The First Amendment states that Congress shall make no law abridging the freedom of speech. It's the freedom of speech, um, the clause in the First Amendment is there, so you should tolerate not destroy words and ideas and meanings that may challenge your moral values, religious values, family values, whatever. With liberty comes excess, if you want to play it safe, you're not going to have the freedom. The safer you are, you guard the values, the more you invite tyranny, suppression, and censorship. Are you afraid to go up to your English teacher and say, Homework was a bitch last night. It's a good real world application of a metaphor. What reason would the teacher have? What... If you... Are you afraid to leave your hat untouched in class for an entire class period? My English teacher I know would make me take it off. Everyone I've had would. Why? What reason does the teacher have to make you take off your hat? What reason does she have to make you stop saying those certain words? To not say a certain short sequence of smooth changes in frequency, amplitude, and decibel level, or to leave a small piece of shaped textile on your head. Profanity is superstition. The idea that there are specific sequences of sounds that will, if said, make everybody in the room uncomfortable for no identifiable reason is a very primitive and arbitrary notion. Is your mind being corrupted? Is it dirtying the air? Who has the right to deprive people of specific words that they do not want to hear? And how can they justifiably stop you? Which brings me to my conclusion. People that are against profanity, they don't want you to control your anger or change your behavior or be more respectful or nicer. They just want you to say something that they prefer. They don't care about the package, just the gift wrap. They don't advocate peace because they don't care if you speak with hate. They only want to change the exact words with which you speak, as if it is the words that make the discourse hateful or distasteful. They think the avoidance of words signals the uh, social status or education. But that's not true. It's the words you use, not the words you don't use. Why do they hate the words? It's the meaning that matters, whatever that meaning may be.